I would pull all-nighters all the time. <laughs> uh, not necessarily like doing work, but uh, for example, if we're playing some sort of board game, I'll never be the one to say, oh, we should stop and go to bed. Uh, my name is Dr. Joe Kim, and I'm a faculty member in the Department of Psychology, Neuroscience, and Behavior. I was the firstborn in my family, and I think like most children who are firstborn, I felt like I, I laid the foundation, and I went through everything with my parents, and then my brother and sister were born after me, I feel like they had it much easier. Being like a first generation from Korea, they were more conservative than some of my friends, but they weren't as conservative as some of their Korean friends. So I felt like I was always rebelling a little bit against what I thought uh, when my parents, when I thought my parents were being a bit too conservative about things. So I was born in Toronto, so and I grew up in uh, the Toronto area. The only time I've ever actually lived out of the country was when I was a postdoc. I lived in San Francisco for uh, about six years. Uh, I'm glad to have lived there for a while, but now um, you know I'm here at McMaster University. Uh, my wife is a faculty member in kinesiology, uh, and we have a two-year-old daughter that's in McMaster childcare. So we're set. I remember uh, my first midterm in biology. Um, I failed it. My roommate uh, was convinced that you know the test was just simply unfair. He wanted me to go with him to speak with the professor, and I reluctantly agreed to go. Uh, my first year bio prof, he uh, was very patient, and he was going through and listening to my roommate's complaints, but after a while, you know, it was clear he was starting to lose his patience. Uh, and on his desk, he happened to have all the midterms. He randomly grabbed one and he flipped through and he said, look, this student doesn't even know, and I still remember the question, it was uh, RFLP, you know, uh, restriction fragment link polymorphism. And I am not kidding you, it was my test. Just coincidentally, he grabbed my test. There's a one in 400 chance, and it was my test. And I had nothing to say, I just said, yeah, I can't believe it. <laughs> one expression that I really like uh, is that you know, chance favors the prepared mind. It might be the case that I someone who's successful has had a break but they've also really taken advantage of you know any opportunity that's been given to them